Hey pub crawlers, I'm at Chattanooga Whiskey and Caitlin is going to teach us how to do a proper whiskey tasting and what I learned is the only way to get better is to drink more whiskey. You have a whole bottle in your bag so let's get to work. First things first, um, you do need the whiskey which you guys already have which is in your Humane Educational Society cooler for the pub crawl. Um, pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, so you guys should be tasting the 91. But before we get to that, we're going to focus on the basics. So first things first, glassware. If you don't have one of these, so this is called a Glencairn, usually a pretty standard whiskey tasting glass. Um, it's built a certain way to increase the aromatics and also just to give you the best taste of something that you've never tasted before. So if you don't have one of these, any kind of snifter will do. Um, if you don't have any kind of snifter, use a stemless wine glass. Anything that has that similar tulip shape would be ideal. There's three main components of a tasting. So you're gonna focus on three things. Number one being the aromatics, so the nose of it. So to get the nose, the first mistake that people usually make is sticking their nose right inside of the glass like that. You don't wanna do that. Instead, what we're gonna do is keep our mouth slightly open and just do a really natural smell. You don't even have to put it that close to your nose. I usually just kind of waft it, get a natural smell, you know, take a nice deep whiff, but nothing that's gonna be right there. You're gonna kind of notice a few things. It might be floral. It might be a little citrusy. You might notice um, a lot of wood notes. You know, oak is pretty common in the bourbon arena, which is where we are. Once you get past that nose, the aromatics, um, then we're gonna move on to the taste. Now, a lot of people also get very rambunctious in this part and they're just like, all right, I'm just gonna shoot it. We do not wanna shoot it. We do actually wanna taste it. Um, but before we even actually taste it, I like to do something called priming the palate, which is taking a really quick sip. Your palate has no idea what's about to happen. So we wanna wake it up. We wanna be like, hey, this is what we're doing. We're tasting whiskey now. So the second sip, you're gonna take a longer sip. You're gonna let that sip kind of just wash over your palate. A lot of the professionals will call it chewing, but you're not actually chewing the whiskey, obviously. You know, every single region on your tongue picks up different flavors. So we wanna just make sure that every part of your tongue gets a chance to touch that whiskey. Once that's happened, then go ahead and swallow it. And then you get to the part which is the finish. So the finish um, is gonna be, after you're swallowed, you uh, just wanna take a nice deep breath out just like that, right? And so what you're doing is you're just um, kind of exhaling some of those really volatile alcohol vapors that are, you know, kind of cause that burn if you keep it in. So once that's out, then you're gonna focus on the finish, how long it takes for that sensation to go away. So um, a lot of people call that the Kentucky hug. Obviously, it doesn't have to be in Kentucky but that's just kind of, it makes you feel that warm, you know, cuddly feeling. So to do a tasting, you don't really need a ton in the glass, all right? And you do want to kind of avoid irritating it too much. You don't want to like shake it vigorously, you know, or like swirl it like crazy like you would a wine. Um, instead, I just lightly, gently let it roll around the glass. Then we're going to go into the nose, all right? So, for the aromatics on this one. So caramel corn, definitely a little bit sweeter. Got a little bit of maybe cinnamon toast with some honey drizzled on it. It's all very subjective. So your taste is very personalized to your palate. So to taste, as I said, we're not gonna immediately just gulp it down. We're gonna take a one tiny little sip All right, so now that my palate is awake and we're ready to taste some whiskey, time to take a slightly bigger sip, um, not too much bigger. You do wanna leave a little bit to keep revisiting it. All right, so um, this one's really complex. And so what's really unique about our Chattanooga Whiskey 91 is we do use a lot of malted grain, which gives it way more depth. So every time you go back and taste this, you're gonna taste more and more unique flavors. You're gonna get a little bit more into it. You might get a little bit more familiar with it. 
And so the more comfortable you get with it, the more you're gonna pull from that. So for this one, the finish is actually really medium bodied. So when you talk about body, you're really talking about almost the viscosity of it, um, you know, the depth. And I know this sounds kind of bizarre, but how heavy it is on your palette. So. The finish is very clean on this one. It's, it's very easy drinking, um, and that has a lot to do with those malted grains that we use. You know, in this one we have malted rye, we have caramel malt, and we have honey malt. So those are gonna kind of soften it, make it very easy drinking no matter what the season. We started off with our flagship, um, which is the 91, the 111, um, and now our silver, which is the unaged version of the 91 and the 111. On top of that, we just also recently added a new member to the family, which is our rye. It's not as aggressive as a traditional rye. Then we have our experimental lines. We do one barrel a week here, and every week it's essentially a new recipe. So once they're gone, they're gone. They're very limited additions. We're constantly trying to come out with new stuff and, and keep the people on their toes, you know, keep them trying new diverse profiles. When you come in and get a tour, you're not only gonna be immersed in the history of what distilling means in this county and why it's so important that we are able to distill in this county now, but also you're gonna get an inside look at our entire process on how we make this special type of bourbon, which is our Tennessee high malt. So once you get through the process, then you'll go downstairs to our barrel room, which is exciting. One of my favorite parts of the tour. Um, you get to see all of our experimental barrels. Um, I'm definitely team dog. I'm very allergic to cats, otherwise I would probably be a little bit more of a battle for me. Um, but I'm definitely pro dog. Let us know what you guys think. Feel free to come in and see us in person. Come do a tasting with me um, or with the staff here. We're all happy to have you and, and to discuss what you guys are thinking about our whiskey. So, cheers. We want to say thank you so much to Chattanooga Whiskey for being a part of our event and thank you so much to all of you for helping the animals at the Humane Society.